Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Boy, the earth is just rocking and rolling today. Today is July 3rd, and there was a 5.1 earthquake, according to EMSE, um, off the coast of Puerto Rico. Some of the felt reports, he felt strong. Several things fell in my room. The house rocked like a hammock. Another one, the house rocked like a hammock, I guess. Yes, strong, actually, that one was probably strong. Uh, lasted everything he moved. Everything moved. Strong vibration of the sliding curtain in my bathroom. Now, that was 21 kilometers. So, that would be about 13 miles from the location of the earthquake. Now, according to EMSC, this here is the location. And I'll pull it out so you can see Puerto Rico. But, according to USGS, I got a typo here. It was on this uh, small island out here. And they're saying it was a magnitude 4.9. Six kilometers in depth, which is almost four miles in depth. They have 272 felt reports. They never post uh, what people are reporting. Very disappointing. There was one report all the way over in the uh, Dominican Republic, but most of them came from Puerto Rico. We got one response there. We'll go to the northern section of the uh, island. Two there. Five there. Vega Alta. Uh, 37. In Bayamon. One there. Lorez 4. 25 there, 13 there, 2 there, 1 there. Now, I fixed the uh, typo there. Um, yeah, what's the name of this island? Yeah, it definitely doesn't look like anyone lives on it. Uh, more likely, um, part of the island turned to quicksand during that earthquake. Let's see what else we got over here. We got some more small little islands. Probably good places to do uh, fishing. Now, I've talked about what's going on with these earthquakes there in Puerto Rico. We got the Caribbean plate going underneath the um, island of Puerto Rico. And we have the Atlantic plate, which is to the north, which is sliding underneath the... Uh, same island of the Caribbean. Yeah. Um, the whole area of the Caribbean is being crushed from different tectonic plates from coming from all directions. The Cocos Plate, the uh, Pacific Plate, the Atlantic Plate, the South American Plate. And it's slowly crushing the Caribbean as it also does a counter, I believe it's a counterclockwise motion as it's being crushed. Um, but because of this crushing motion and being shoved down, this is why there's all these magnetic anomalies. Um, one example is the Bermuda Triangle. And then along here, I talked about this in my last video, we got um, the trench. Let's see, it should be on here. I know I put it there, at least I thought I put it there. which is the Muretos Trench. Remember, uh, back in 2010, uh, when Haiti had that magnitude, oh, here we go, when Haiti had um, that large earthquake and a lot of the money never even showed up for them. Okay, here we go. Muretos Trench, or trough. Well, let's go back to some of these felt reports we got on EMSC. He felt strong. He moved my chair. But it was fast. San German, it says. Maybe 
Oh, that's where the location was at. Um, strong but fast. I put the chair. San German. Another one strong. Felt it now at 9.55 a.m. upstairs. The whole bed shook. Yeah, I hate to tell you, but you guys got a large earthquake coming. Um, these smaller earthquakes just show how tension has built. Pressure has built. Strong movement and extensive. Maybe they mean it lasted long, but some of them are saying it didn't last long, so I don't know. Um, the urban area of Cabo Rio, he felt strong. Yeah, strong. Another report here, it says, I was at the supermarket, and a couple of things fell out of the gondolas. Another report was very strong, was in my car. Um, it while a lot, scary. This report here says their lamps moved, doors rang, lasted about 10 seconds. EMSC is reporting um, a 3.1 aftershock, um, a 3.2 before this 5.1. So they got two, it looks like, reported after the 5.1. Whereas USGS does say there was a 3.2, but the other one was a 2.8. Yeah, same locations. You can see here. Let me make this bigger. Uh, this is all the earthquakes for the last week. Now remember, in 1692, Port, Ro Port Royale in Jamaica had a 7.2 earthquake which killed about, oh, 2,000 people. Um, the land turned to quicksand. It was, yeah, pretty gruesome. Uh, there was a tsunami. And uh, when people sunk in the quicksand because of the uh, 7.2 earthquake, all that was remaining um, was their heads sticking out of the sand. The population nowadays is much larger so if they had a large earthquake with tsunami nowadays anywhere along these islands the death toll the uh, destruction would be tremendous two-thirds of uh, the landmass there in port royale sunk into the sea all the wharfs the docks sunk into the sea in a matter of just two minutes and then in 1770 Port-au-Prince had a magnitude oh 7.0 maybe a little bit stronger earthquake they estimate that about 200 people back then died that earthquake too um, produced a tsunami and they say that the death toll probably would have been higher except there was um, a loud rumble before the earthquake and many people uh, fled their home and then in 2010 uh, there was a 7.0 on the same island yeah Haiti and that's the one that so much money was collected and majority of it was never sent to those poor people definitely sending prayers to everyone there in the Caribbean but if you did feel this earthquake if you had damage um, please put it down below um, how long did it last um, please give us all your details thank you for watching thank you for subscribing please stay safe and I will talk to you later God bless you all. bye